Imagine being able to control any TV with Alexa. Doesn't matter if it's old, new, smart, or not. Alexa, turn on Gym TV. But I also have smart blinds. What if I want to watch a movie and tell my blinds to close? Alexa, movie time. The blinds close and the TV opens up Netflix. I'm gonna show you all how to do this in this video. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, look, they said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it. Did it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tech It Up back at it again with another video, and I'm super excited to make this video because five years ago, I made a video titled Control Any Smart TV with Alexa. And that video has since then gained 1.5 million views. And I've been looking at the comments. A lot of you are frustrated because that method no longer works. Well, the software or the app that I was using in that video has since then been discontinued. So I figured why not make a 2023 version uh, where you can actually control any TV. Doesn't matter if it's smart or not. So most TVs built after 2021 have Alexa built into it. But if you're like me and you have various TVs sitting around your house that are perfectly working, whether it's smart or not, you probably don't feel like going out and buying a new TV just to get Alexa built in. So if you fit in that scenario, this is the video for you. So there's going to be something that you need and you can get it off Amazon. The links are going to be down in the description box. What you're going to need is what we call a universal control, a smart universal controller. So I have two with me right now. I have the Broadlink Mini 4 and I have the Broadlink Mini 3. You can get both of these for less than $20 on Amazon. The Mini 3 is older, so you can get this one for cheaper. I think you can get this for less than $15. Definitely rely on those links to get the most recent prices. Uh, but I personally prefer the Mini 4. Like I said, this is less than $20 because it's a lot more compact. It's smaller. And honestly, the setup is a little easier um, because I did set up both of these, and I've used these both for the past couple months. Um, so the nice thing about this is that it also has a humidity and temperature sis, uh, sensor. So if you're trying to set up some routines, like I have a full smart house, I'm really looking forward to doing a full video for all of you if you all say you wanna see that in the comment box. But if you wanna set up some routines based off temperature or humidity, or just get the insights into the various different rooms in your house, these can do that as well. And if you look on Amazon, a humidity and temperature sensor alone that connects with Alexa, is $15. So you can get this and it can serve all three purposes. So let's go ahead and get into the setup process. I'm going to pull up my iPad screen. Uh, what you're going to need to do first after you order the product is download the Broadlink app. Um, and I'm assuming you're already going to have the Alexa app. So we'll go ahead and get into it. So once you open up the Broadlink app, it's going to ask you to set up an account. Once you set up your account, it's going to ask you to set up your home. It's going to ask you for your region. Before we go to add device, what you're going to want to do is plug your device up. And what you're going to be looking for is for a blue light to flash. Uh, three times it'll stop and then flash three times and it'll stop. It'll keep doing that. Uh, so what you want to do from there is plug it up uh, using the micro USB cable that comes with it and you'll see that blue light flashing. If it's not flashing, then you're gonna wanna reset. You, you want, you're gonna wanna hold the reset button for less than 10 seconds. You don't wanna hold it for more than 10 seconds. Uh, but once you have that blue light flashing, when you go into the app and you hit add device, it should pop up automatically for you. So I'm just gonna hit add new device. It's not popping up for me. So let me exit the app and let's see if it works then. There's another way you can do it too if, if that doesn't work. See if we hold it close to it. Okay. So you want to make sure the Mini 4 is really is close to the iPad and then you'll see that it'll pop up as one new device found. So to set this up, uh, after it automatically found the device, you just hit set up now, and then it'll ask you what you want to set up. You'll hit join the room. So now it's going to walk through the setup process. You're going to want to connect it to your home network. 
You also want to make sure your Wi-Fi network supports both bands, 2.4 and 5. If, if, you, if, if you have a separate network for each band, uh, you'll, like I said, you'll want to connect to that 2.4 one. But if you do share one network and it serves both purposes, uh, using my Wi-Fi network, I could go in there and disable the 5 gigahertz band temporarily, which I think it disabled it for roughly 10 minutes. Uh, so that's something you can do if you run into any issues, but I did want to throw out that disclaimer. Uh, so now that it's connected to the device, it's going to ask what room this device is in. So I'm just going to hit add a custom room. And from here, what I'll do is this is going into the gym. So I'll set it up as gym. Next, we'll name device. We'll call this gym remote. The neat thing about this is that this device can control way more than just TVs. It can control your air conditioner. It can control your cable box. So you could put this in one room and have it control all of your devices. And that's why I said to get the RM Mini 4, because it's so small, you wouldn't even notice it. And you can have it just be your one-stop shop. You can control everything. So once we save this, you'll see that it is bringing up a temperature and a humidity sensor. So we'll go ahead and save that. And so we'll go to use device now. And obviously I don't have it configured to control anything. So what we're gonna do now is go into the yoga room or my gym and add the TV and I'll show you all how to walk through that process. All right, everyone. So we are now in the yoga room or the gym. Uh, so I have my TV here. What you're gonna wanna do first before we hit the add appliances is go into the, men the menu of your TV or look on the box um and figure out what the model number is because there is an extensive list of model numbers uh, in this app and you want to try your best to match it up but if you can't find your model number it's great if you have a remote on hand because you can manually train the device to do certain functions and i will show you all how to do that but this is a samsung tv right here so what i'm going to do is just look at this model number open up the app hit add appliances and you'll see that I have the mini four tucked away over there with the refrigerator and all my other smart hubs. So what we're going to do is we want to add a TV. So we're going to click TV. Just going to give you some disclaimers It's just like I told you all, if you can't find a brand, you can uh, manually train it and I'll show you all how to do that. All right. You do want to make sure that your TV does support uh, infrared. So we're going to hit add appliance. We're going to search for Samsung, in my case. And we'll see here that my model actually isn't on this list. It's almost like I did that purposely. So my model isn't on this list. So because of that, what I can do is just hit can't find model. And then it will ask me to enter the model number. And this is how it constantly learns, right? This is built by the community and also supported by Broadlink as well. And that makes it great. All right. So then it's going to give you various different options. Just because it's Samsung, it's going to test out different codes. So what we can do is we can test option one. It will give me the option to hit the power button. You will see that that just turned the TV off straight from the app. And then I can turn it back on. I can also test out the various different buttons. Just hit the mute, mute at the TV, up arrow down. So this lets me know that option one works. If it doesn't work, you can hit not, not work. Um, but for me, it does work. I need to fix the grammar there. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit it works well. So now that that's set up, I can hit continue and this is in the gym. So I'm going to hit gym. I'm going to say gym TV. Awesome. All right. So we can hit use device now. So something that isn't set up, so this is a smart TV, but this is an older smart TV, so it doesn't have Alexa built in as I was discussing with all of you earlier. Uh, so it has the Netflix button working, 
but it doesn't have the other smart buttons working. So I'll show you all the remote. So if you look at the official remote, it actually has settings for Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video. So what I'm gonna show you all is how to actually program a button. So what you can do is you can hit one of the buttons that's blanked out. So I'm gonna hit Hulu and I'm gonna hit Start Learning. And then I'm going to aim it at the Mini 4, hit the button. Once it gets the signal, you're gonna see it on here. And then if I hit that button, this means that it's officially learned it. It's taken, this is an older TV, so it's a little slower, but you'll see that Hulu's loading up. Um, so since that worked, what I can do is just hit yes. And you can just continue going on and setting up different buttons if they're not working. But more than likely, your model is gonna be there. I just thought this would be a great example of configuring a TV that doesn't have that configured. So I'm gonna put this new remote right there. What we can do next is actually set up the connection from Broadlink to Alexa, which is pretty simple. So you're gonna to go to Amazon Alexa. You're going to go to more skills and games. And what I can do is go to the search, type in Broadlink. And then click on it. Enable to use. Okay, so now it found one TV. And then if I were to configure any routines or scenes, it will automatically populate. But right now we just have the TV set up. So we'll just hit set up device. This is in the gym. So this is going to be grouped with all of my other smart devices in here. So my lights and everything else. So I'm gonna hit add to group. So what we can do from here is we can now say commands. Alexa, turn on Gym TV. And like I said, this device can be used to control a variety of things. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Like I was saying, this device can be used to control a variety of things. So if you have it in one room, you can set up multiple devices under the Add Appliances button and have it fire off signals to control everything. And then you can also get information such as your humidity, your temperature, and all that good stuff. So what I showed y'all at the beginning of the video was a routine. Uh, so something you can do is set, if you have something that you constantly do, for me, I use this downstairs mainly. I like to say movie time and have the blinds closed and also turn the TV on and open up Netflix. I'm gonna show you all how to set up something like that. And if you all wanna get a little bit more complex or you have some other ideas that you would like to see how to do, let me know down in the comment box. If I see some, if I see a trend, I'll make a dedicated video for it. So what you do is you go to the Broadlink app. And then what I can do here is go back. I can hit the plus sign. I can hit add scene. So the screen, the scene name is going to be Netflix. And then we have to pick an icon. I'm just gonna pick something. We're gonna add device. In this case, it's gonna be the gym TV because that's what we wanna control. And my action is going to be open Netflix. So once I save this, now I have that saved as a scene. Now you see Alexa already picked that up. Alexa knows, hey, if I say, if I say that name or tell it to turn it on, is then going to open up Netflix. I'm not going to do that yet. Then what I want to do is go to more, do routine, and then hit add, enter routine name, movie time. So when I say movie time, All right, so then I can add an action. I can then go to 
smart homes. Um, I do have my blinds from Ikea. So what I can do from here is tell it, I want the blinds closed. So blind one, I want that closed. And then add action, smart home, scenes, Netflix. And then now when I say movie time, it's gonna close the blinds and then it's going to turn on Netflix on the TV. Something else you can do. Alexa, turn volume up on Gem TV. Alexa, mute Gem TV. So you can also tell it to turn the volume up by 10 or turn it up by 20. Um, especially if you have that set volume level that you're always looking for. So in today's video, I showed you all how to set up the Broadlink RM3 or 4, but also configure it to control a TV. That same method will work for any of your devices, assuming that those devices accept infrared signals. I then showed you all how to integrate the Broadlink app with Amazon Alexa, and then I set up some skills so that we could actually tell Alexa to control our devices set up in Broadlink. You can also get fancy, make some routines. Um, if there's anything that you do that's repeatable, you might as well automate it. If you all have any ideas or any routines that you're trying to set up, let me know down in the comment box. But also, if any of you want to see how you could do this with Google Home or Apple HomeKit, let me know down in the comment box. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can see my next upload, which should be coming in the next week. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this video and keep teching it up. Peace. Yeah, look, they said that I couldn't do it, so I went and...